Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Last time we defended this castle, Kaer Morin, from the onslaught of the Wild Hunt. Ciri and all of our allies made a valiant stand. We lost Vesemir, sadly. Vesemir did not survive, but we have repelled the Wild Hunt. We did not defeat them, so we're gonna have to train Ciri to become stronger, because defeating the Wild Hunt is something that she is going to have to do, hopefully with our help. Right now, we're in the middle of a snowball fight. I'm trying to take Ciri's mind off matters, because... She's having difficulty concentrating. So let's see if we can defeat Siri in a snowball fight, shall we? Hey, that's How was that cheating? I threw a snowball at you. That's cheating. That is cheating. You want to talk about cheating? Oh, yeah, I bet I am. <laughs> right in your face. You haven't hit me once. Come on, I'll give you a freebie. Come on. Are you glitched? Do you know how to throw a snowball? Uh, ah! Good there shot. you go. I knew you had it in you. Oh, <laughs> Come on. I know you can do better than that. There you are. Nailed ya. <laughs> you were right. That really works. Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. And you'll continue your training. <laughs> what a bit of lighthearted levity after a very tough battle. Geralt. Geralt. What? Wake up. We're supposed to be training with the sage. What? what? What's happening? Get up. We must go. I've saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen. Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. I don't want to go back to Velen. And guess who's the guest of honor. Is it me? Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts. Caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. I don't know if the Wild Hunt drinks or celebrates the Sabbath. Doesn't seem like a very good plan, honestly. Siri, sure you know what you're getting into? Yes. And I must do this. Come. We shall talk on the way. Okay. I should... No, oh, I should probably visit... The, uh, maybe. Yeah, I don't want to talk to the Emperor. Screw him. Lead on. I probably don't want to get on the Emperor's bad side, though. He seems to be a very powerful man. So our goal is to confront the head of the Wild Hunt while he's drunk. Honestly, I don't think the strategy is going to work. But Siri seems pretty convinced of it, and I'm hoping the two of us can take him alone. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the Ladies of the Wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the barons thought the Ladies of the Wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. Better. He found his wife. Took her away, somewhere far. Anna... She was unwell. A true shame. Thanks to the ladies of the woods. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. Then I guess we're going to the summit of this mountain. Peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I've no idea why. Let them approach. But... They've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fires down that away with food and drink and plenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, wanderer? No need for anger. The white ones serve the ladies as we do now. We send them gifts all year long, and on this night, they repay us with their blessing. 
I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling. Scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm. Your children. Why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. It's time for us to go. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're a fire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Okay, we'll go talk to Tethgla. Th Thecla. That's Hopefully it. we don't have to execute her to get past her. Because I wouldn't want to offend any more innocent civilians. Look, a child. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. That's Johnny, huh? It's been a while since I've seen him. Well, OB, you're back. Uh, and I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided, though, it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? The same thing that brings me everywhere. I'm here to kill things. I'm looking for a path to the summit. Could you help me out there? We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you. But I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass. She is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh. Path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thecla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. The key? Why do you doubt we can get it? Oh, good grief! You're worse than children! Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What good is he? Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again. Someday. Hopefully someday soon. Yeah, see you around, Johnny. I'm glad I didn't kill you. Rising owl's hoot. Hmm. Who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Ah, she already knows you're a girl. Interesting. Maybe she's just pretending to be blind. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. Never mind. Got me answer. Ooh, that's weird. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. Sounds good, Siri. At least one of us has been approved. Siri. Wonderful. Who wouldn't want to meet the ladies? My companion comes with me. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. Aye. Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. That's true. I reject ye. Freak. The girl will ascend alone. But appearances can be deceiving. Despite the fact that I look like an old grizzled war veteran, I'm actually quite young. I wouldn't say virile, but definitely spry. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Mm. Girl? He's spryer than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right, you may appeal my choice. But to do so, you must best the challenge. I can best any challenge, unless it's racing or Gwent. If it's not one of those, I'll do it. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. 
Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Orb. Bring me the coin. Oh. <laughs> All right. Look. Oh, you pushed me. I didn't even get a chance to dive in. You just. All right. Fine. Guess we're gonna go find this coin. Not a big deal. I do have. Oh, it's actually not that deep. There are level five drowners here. I must have to contend with. It's gonna be obnoxious more than anything else, really. Oh, there's buckthorn down here. Excellent. There was a crafting ingredient I just could not find for the life of me. That is the the coin. That that's the coin that I needed. I'm gonna grab the rest of this buckthorn down here. Hopefully, I'll be able to craft some stuff with this. And now I'm out of breath, and I am slowly drowning. Better hurry up and... There we go. Reach the surface. More buckthorn. I'm gonna back down. Hold on. There we go. I got plenty of buckthorn while I was down there. I think I needed five doses, but I only found four, sadly. So I might not have enough to craft what I want. I needed six to create Killer Whale, which would have increased my breath supply while diving by 50% and improved my vision while underwater. So, not a crucial potion, but it would have been nice to have for later. Oh well. Uh, there is a fiend guarding a bridge here. Don't know if that's- that's not the way I was supposed to go, but... Okay, if you're gonna attack me, then I'm gonna fight back. I was beginning to worry. Come, let's get the key. Sorry, it took me so long. I found some crafting ingredients, and you know me, I just can't leave well enough alone. Something's nigh. Don't worry, I killed the fiend that was lurking outside already. They're back. What do you want? Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for ye. Now go! Much obliged. The last of the chosen will now ascend the mountain. They said there was going to be three, right? Well, there's Siri and myself. That's two of us. Who is going to be the third? Is, Mar is Marika going to be the third? Is she one of the chosen? I don't think she is. And inside we go. Ah! Bye! What is this? What's your name, girl? What's yours? Mm, you don't know, you don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? I also don't have a name. Here's my trial proof of purchase. I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers Orum. A death sentence. Ah, so I have to face one more challenge. I shouldn't have shown that coin after all. Fine, fine. I'll fight you, Fugas. And by that I mean we'll fight you, and you're level 26, so I'm not terribly concerned. I, wow, that was really easy. One tough son of a bitch. No, he wasn't at all. We've no time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. No way! Oh. <laughs> Damn it! Two out of three! <laughs> that I was gonna have to choose. Fate has decided! I shall be the one who takes the climactic final battle! I'll climb the mountain, you face the crones. Hardly a challenge. They're extremely dangerous. Be careful. You too. If you think the crones are going to be easy, then deal with them quickly and then join me. Boy, the villagers are not going to be happy that we've killed their guardians, or idols, but... I don't care. Crones suck. I'm actually going to be facing the crones as her. Okay. I get to be Siri and kill the crones. I must get down there. Welcome, child of the Elder Blood. We knew you would return. Your taste lingers on our tongues. 
You've talked enough. And now I gotta kill all three crones. Naughty, naughty girl. Weavis, I'll try and focus on you first. Your weird beehive eye socket weirds me out. There, got Weavis. And let's see, the big one or apple pie face? I think we'll go for the bigger target. Come here. Come here, Bruis. Come on, come on. Come on, Bruis. There we go. That's two. Now, you. You. Wispess. Come here. Come here. I'm a little on health, so I gotta play a little more cautiously. But I'll take you on. I'll take you down. You summon crows and you got the face of an apple pie. So, four and twenty blackbirds baked into a pie. I, I get it. It's pretty funny. So close to death. Gotcha! Rose. You're all dead, right? One of the three you could be pretending. I knew it! Should have poked it harder. Come here. Oh, she left with my medallion. Imlarith sent a summit. Gotta be. And now I'm back to playing as Geralt, gonna fight the head of the wild hunt. Hopefully he'll be in good spirits, by which I mean he'll be inebriated on spirits. That would make this fight a lot easier. The sisters said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. They did not see the girl. But she is with you, is she not? I didn't come here to talk. I came here to kill you. First you, then her. M. Larith, the dumbest name I've ever heard. And that's on top of names like Dudu. Yeah, that's right, you've got a dumber name than Dudu. How does that make you feel? I'm gonna put Elemental Oil on my sword. I don't know if that'll affect you or not. Maybe I need some other oil, maybe Relict Oil. You're not in the bestiary, so I will coat my silver sword with this oil, and hopefully that'll do the trick. Come on, what do you got? What do you got? You got nothing. Now all that armor is making you way too slow. No, nah, you see, you can't hit the broad side of a barn. Ah, okay. You got one swing on me, because I got too greedy. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just wear you down. Oh, he's dropped his shield now. He's going to be faster. But he won't be able to block some of these attacks. Maybe... Uh, he can teleport, though. He can definitely... He's still slow. He's still incredibly slow. Too slow, just too slow. <laughs> oh, that was not the easy victory I thought Who it would have been. Told you to fight like this. The Witcher you slew. Yes. <laughs> I like to think that I get that extra cutscene there just because I unlocked that ability. I don't know if that's normal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it would be amazing if the abilities that I unlocked customized this cutscene. I don't know if that's the case or not. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and that is that. We have slain the cronies. We have slain the head of the wild hunt. Hopefully, now that we've cut off the head of the snake, the body will fall. We did it. Barely. How'd it go down there? We slew only two of the crones. The third fled with Vesemir's medallion. My sole memento. I don't have the option of giving her my medallion. That's kind of sad. I guess it's iconic for me, but it would have been nice. It would have, it would have been a nice token gesture to give her my medal. You avenged Vesemir. Avalarch claims vengeance is only ever satisfying when served cold. He's wrong. 
Now to find Eridin and kill him. I wonder if Triss and Yennefer have found the sorceresses at the lodge. We ought to rejoin them. Oh, I guess Eridin is the head of the Wild Hunt. And I just killed his second in command, is that what it sounds like? I guess it would have been too easy for me to just walk up here and stab this guy to death, but sure. Yeah, let's go. We ought to rejoin them and see how they've done. Yeah, let's get going. Thank you for coming with me. Come here. Dangle dangle, look what I still have. I wonder if the villagers know that we've killed their idols. I wonder if they're going to be unhappy about that. Hey, how's it going, folks? The oak is dead. The oak, the crones. I fear that was your last feast. What of our acorns? Is that a euphemism for your children? Your children will be fine. Your acorns? No idea. Path to the summit's clear. You can always go looking for them. Or just go home? This is no longer no man's land. It's no longer the lady's land. It's all yours. But what are we to do? Come, Geralt. It's time. Manage on your own. Back in Valen, back at the Baron's little hideout, his castle here. Then non humans. Thought it was mages the hunters and the temple guard were after. Mages left. Hunters needed a new quarry. Oh! They're hunting elves and dwarves now? That's probably very bad. Dundee Lion! Ready some tankers! With guests! Geralt! Siri! My good friend Dandelion! How you doing? When I learned Geralt had found you. Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Just finished hunting down the crones of Velen and a general of the Wild Hunt. Well, you were a busy morn then, haven't you? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Point me to a room. Of course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, Geralt. I have a little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. So, how have you been? I noticed you didn't join me in my fight against the Wild Hunt. Not that I blame you. It was a very tough fight. Anything happened while we were away? Uh, pretty Polly came down with a fever. That oyster caught a knife between the ribs, and they're late delivering the sodden triple meat. Dandelion. Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to crippled Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting, too. Ah, so you gave him your best room. I'm going to guess that he took it without asking. Gave him your best room? He didn't exactly ask. I prepared another room for him, but he blew past me and locked himself in the ruby. Hasn't peeked out since. Barely eats, drinks only water, and the only thing I've heard from him is, I wish to know when Windblade and Zeriel arrive. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full. Okay, so we need to talk to a lot of people. We talk to Ciri's guardian elf, Ciri herself, and Triss. And also, it sounds like Yennefer's in town as well. Zoltan, I would watch out because I walked into town and they were hanging and burning non-humans at the stake. And I would really hate for you to be taken out in such a manner after your valiant fight at Kaer Morin. Stay safe, Zoltan. I have got a lot of things to take care of. Next time, we will talk to Avalok, Yennefer, Siri, Triss, and anybody else around here needs our help. Until then, my name is Mike and this has been The Witcher 3. Thank you for joining me.